Hi everyone, it's Lubna. Welcome to my channel All Mediterranean Taste with a new recipe. I'm so happy to welcome you today to my channel because I'm sharing with you a must dessert or sweet treat in Moroccan table during the month of Ramadan. Today's recipe is the Moroccan energy mix that we call Silo. It is also called Sfouf in some regions in Morocco. Moroccan Silo is a rich nutty confection of ground almond, ground toast and whole sesame seeds and brown flour flavored with cinnamon and anise, and sweetened with honey or sugar. Sillu might be presented as powdery, as a rounded, molded mold, or as compact bite-sized cookie molds. It is traditionally served during Ramadan and after childbirth, and when there is greater need to restore energy and maintain good health. It is a unique and baked Moroccan sweet treat. Like many traditional recipes, the ingredients vary from region to region. Today I will share with you my favorite way to make it and all the steps and the details you need to know. So let's start! Step 1. Preparing the ingredients. First, we need to brown the flour. Preheat your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. You will need 1 kg of all-purpose flour or 35 ounces. Place the flour over a baking sheet and spread it evenly with a large spoon. Place the baking sheet in the center rack of your preheated oven and bake it for 60 to 90 minutes. Stir the flour every 15 minutes with a wooden spoon so the flour doesn't burn and baked evenly. The flour is ready when it gets a deep golden brown color and doesn't taste raw anymore. Remove the baking sheet from the oven, then let the flour cool completely. Start sifting the flour over a large plate. Make sure there is no lumps of flour left. Then set it aside. To prepare the fried blanched almonds, you will need 800 grams of whole almonds. Cover them with hot water and let them set for 30 minutes. Once they are ready, drain them, then start peeling them by squeezing the nut with your index finger and the thumb. Place the blanched almonds in a single layer over a clean kitchen towel and let them dry for at least 2 hours. Once the almonds are completely dried, place a large frying dip pan over medium heat with plenty of vegetable oil. Once the oil is hot, use a large spoon and gently transfer the almonds into your pan. Use a skimmer to check the color of the almonds and move them around so they cook evenly and make sure they don't overcook. Once they get a light brown color, remove them from the pan and place them over a strainer to remove any excess oil. If the almonds get a dark brown color, they will have a burnt taste. Place the fried almonds over a paper towel to stop the cooking process. Once the fried almonds are cooled, place two cups in a small bowl to reserve for decoration. Now I have 500 grams of blanched fried almonds left. Place half of it in your food processor. Pulse the almonds several times, scrap down the edges as needed. Keep mixing until the almonds releases their own natural oil and transform into a creamy, buttery texture. Transfer the fried almonds butter into a medium bowl, then reserve. For a crunchy texture, place the remaining fried almonds in your food processor. 
and pulse them several times until they get a coarse texture. Place them in a separate bowl and set them aside. You will need another 500 grams of raw almonds. Place them over a baking sheet in a single layer. Place the baking sheet in the center rack of your preheated oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and roast them for 20 to 25 minutes by stirring them occasionally to bake them evenly. Once it's done, remove the baking sheet from the oven and let the roasted almonds cool. Place the roasted almonds into your food processor and pulse them for about 6 to 8 minutes. Stir the almonds from time to time. Keep mixing until the almonds powder start releasing its own natural oil. At the end, you should get a creamy almond butter. Transform the almond butter into a medium bowl, then set it aside. You will need 1 kg of unwhole sesame seeds. Over medium-low heat, place a large nonstick pan. Once the pan is hot, place the sesame seeds into the pan and roast them for a few minutes by stirring them constantly until they lose their raw taste. Then transfer them into a bowl and let them cool. Now transfer 3 cups of the roasted sesame seeds into a separate bowl. Place the 3 cups of the roasted sesame seeds into your food processor and pulse them several times until they get a coarse texture. Scrap down the edges as needed. Then place them into a medium bowl. Now place the remaining roasted sesame seeds in the food processor. Pulse them for about 6 to 8 minutes until they release their own natural oil and transform into a creamy butter. Scrap down the edges as needed. Place the roasted sesame seeds butter in a small bowl and reserve. Now place 3-4 cup of anise seeds in a large pan over medium heat and roast them for a few minutes by stirring them constantly to pop out the flavors. Transfer them into a small bowl and let them cool. Once they are cooled, place them in a spices grinder machine or a food processor and pulse them for a few minutes several times until they transform to powder. Sift the ground anise and discard the leftover particles. You will need the gum arabic. Place a few gum arabic pebbles over a flat plate or a flat surface. Add one tablespoon of sugar and grind them with the bottom of a cup until you get a fine powder. For the other spices, you will need one teaspoon of ground nutmeg and one tablespoon ground fennel. For the sugar, sift one cup of powdered sugar into a medium bowl. You can use less or more sugar, depending to your taste. The last ingredient to prepare is the butter. Melt one cup of unsalted butter in a medium saucepan over low heat. Once the butter is melted, use a spoon and remove the white foam forms on top, then discard. Let it simmer for a few minutes until you get a brown color. All our ingredients are ready now to mix all of them together. The brown flour, 
sifted powdered sugar, chopped roasted sesame seeds, blanched fried almond butter, chopped fr blanched fried almonds, roasted almond butter, roasted sesame seeds butter, brown melted butter, one and a half cups honey, two tablespoons ground anise, three tablespoons ground cinnamon, phenol, Arabic gum, nutmeg, and salt. In the bowl of your stand mixer, or a large mixing bowl, place the flour. Add the blanched fried almond butter, roasted almonds butter, roasted sesame seeds butter, and one teaspoon salt. With the hook attachment on, start mixing these ingredients on low speed for five minutes. Once these ingredients are well combined, I divided the mixture into three equal parts, since my bowl was a bit small. Then knead each part for 20 minutes by scrubbing down the edges as needed. You may use also your hands to mix all these ingredients together in a large bowl. After 20 minutes of kneading and mixing the first ingredients, add the powdered sugar, Arabic gum, nutmeg, ground anise, ground fennel, ground cinnamon, the brown melted butter, and the honey. Then knead all these ingredients together for another 20 minutes. And scrap down the edges as needed. Since I divided my first mixture into two equal portions, I added half of each ingredient to the mixture. Once all these ingredients are well combined, add the chopped roasted sesame seeds and the chopped blanched fried almonds to the other ingredients and mix for 5 to 8 minutes. You may use more or less sugar, and you can also use more or less butter, depending to your taste and the way how you like to serve it. Repeat the same process with the remaining ingredients, and place them together into a large bowl and mix them. There is so many ways to serve silo in Morocco, and it varies from region to region. You can simply serve it powdery in a plate and eat it with a spoon. As you can mold it as a mound and decorate it with blanched fried almonds. The most popular way to serve it in Morocco is molded mound that is served in a large serving plate and decorated with blanched fried almonds. One of my favorite way to serve it is compact molded as a round 9 inch cake. Cover it with plastic wrap and let it set for at least 2 hours. For best result, let it rest overnight. Run a thin knife around the edges to loosen the silo from the pan. Remove the ring, then flip it over your serving plate. Place a small container to cover the center of the silo, then dust powdered sugar around the edges. Gently remove the container from the center. Decorate the sides with chopped blanched fried almonds. Decorate the edges of the circle with blanched fried almonds that we served earlier. Cover and decorate the center with chopped fried almonds. Then place the compact cookie mold 
in the center. As we are a family who loves individual serving dessert, I love to serve sellu as a compact bite-sized cookie molds, and my kids love them and enjoy eating sellu as a cookie. They also love to call it the energy bar cookie. Sellu contains healthy and natural ingredients, and it's a great source of energy. It is packed with so many flavors, amazing nuts, and great spices. It is a must dessert during the month of Ramadan in all Moroccan tables to restore energy and maintain good health. It is actually one of my favorite traditional desserts in Morocco. It's so yummy! Bon appétit! Thank you for joining me today in my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed watching my video today. If you like my single recipe, the Moroccan energy bar today, share it with all your friends and family. You will find all the ingredients in the description box down below. You will also find the links for my Facebook and Instagram pages and my email address. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. All what you need to do is to click the little circle on the right to subscribe and click the little bell to get notifications every time we post a new recipe. You can also check out my other recipes on the left. We we'll see you in our next video with a new taste and a new recipe. Bye!